What is happening everyone? We're back with another burger of the day from the Bob's Burger. The Bob's Burgers Burger Book. The Summertime Burger from Season 3, Episode 3, titled Bob Fires the Kids. It's supposed to be a refreshing burger meant for summer. Which is ironic because as you can see, we are in the middle of winter. Get ready to eat snow, Smelcher. So here's a scoop. This burger is going to be very unusual. In fact, this burger could scare a lot of you away. I hope not. I don't know though. Maybe I don't have enough faith in you guys. We're gonna be putting grilled watermelon and feta cheese on this burger. What's wrong with you? That is a combination that I have never heard of. Um, it, it, maybe I'm just ignorant, I don't know, but we're gonna give it a shot because that's what the burger book calls for and that's what we're going to do because we love the book and we love following the rules or the directions with the recipe so I believe in us to make this burger at least uh, adequate so let's get started so you might have noticed but the kitchen setup has changed and that's because I bought a house and I am now ready to unveil it to the world the best part of the new setup is this large kitchen island and I finally feel like a true YouTube chef a real cool guy. Right, Mr. Bronca? Very cool. I've been working my butt off trying to get the house in good order and everything moved in while also filming a lot in the process. It feels good to finally be back making Bob's Burgers burgers for you guys. As you can see in the background here, I'm just prepping some herbs that will be used in the patty while also getting out the watermelon so I can start tackling that stuff. Essentially, I'm going to be taking a large chunk and use a round object to slice out a watermelon-like patty. It's not going to be perfect, but it's not nearly as complicated as I'm making it seem, I promise. So early on, I was talking about it being cold and nasty out. The seasonal melancholy feeling has already started to set in for me. Every year, it gets dark at 5 p.m., and every year, it's still a complete shock to my body. I think I might be at the point where moving somewhere consistently warm might be the play in my future. But enough about me, so in the background here we've got the watermelon prepped, and I even did it without accidentally cutting myself. A peaceful end to a dangerous situation. So now that the watermelon has a nice, easy to manage shape for building later on, we're going to salt it heavily to try to get as much liquid out as possible, so that it grills or sears up nicely. I'm also using the paper towel to soak up any initial liquid that has risen to the surface. Make sure to coat each side generously because we don't want either side to end up jealous and resentful. We're gonna let that rest on the counter for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, we can start prepping our patty with a combination of ground meat, pepper, feta cheese, and then we're gonna throw in that rosemary and thyme that we uh, minced up. I think this is going well. He's got away with people. I'm starting to see the vision a little bit. I think it might actually turn out to be really good. But like I said, let's get that ground meat out and start prepping. Ah, so we're back to where we feel most at home. Seasoning a nicely formed hamburger patty. It's always the same thing. It makes me sick. Well, Louise, you'll be happy to know that today's patty is getting a little bit wild. And by that, I mean we will be using a couple different seasonings than normal. Let's throw down those minced herbs that we were working on earlier, followed by some crumbled up feta cheese. I elected to not salt the patty at this time because I was a little bit worried that the combo of cheese might get things a little too salty later on. And we know there would be no going back. It's better to be safe than sorry after all. Now, let's just get everything worked into the patty like so. Not gonna lie, this patty looks delicious. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna wipe off all this excess salt and then I'm gonna throw it onto a really hot pan. Ideally, you'd want to use a grill outside, but yeah, as you can see, it's super cold winter time, so I'm gonna be doing it inside. So, back over to the stove top. With a pan preparing to heat up to levels never before seen, we will lay the slice of watermelon down and to begin getting charred. With moves like these, how can anyone say this process is lame compared to grilling out? Oh yes you are. You're like an unsalted pretzel. Harsh, but what if we zoom in here? You're like if school and news had a baby. Fine, let me crank it up. Now let's cook that patty. Oil down. Spread it all over. Now let's shoot for the stars. Like a bullet made of chorizo. With the vibes rocking out, let's continue to admire the show.
Last up is a toast up the buns. With everything done, let's build this burger. Starting with the bottom bun. Throw down our juicy patty. Let's also get a decent layer of mayo spread across. Top all of that with our cooked watermelon. Sprinkle on some additional feta and then complete the whole thing with our top bun. What a beautiful creation. I am not crying, you are. Well, well, well. The watermelon burger is done. It looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. I'm excited. I'll have what she's having. So what do you say I take a bite and I'll tell you how it tastes. This has to be one of the most impressive burgers I've ever eaten. It was beautiful, I cried. And I don't mean that it's like the best burger I've ever had, though it is very good. What I mean by that is just like this, the, the way all these flavors came together, it kind of blows my mind. There's like this bitter, there's like this bitter, but sweet, but salty, but earthy, creaminess and garlic from the mayo tied in together with all the herbs, the sweet, fluffy, buttery textures and from the buns and the crunch from the lettuce, Ah, oh, it's good. To really solidify how good this burger is, let's rate it. Coming in with a 9.2 out of 10, I completely understand what makes it perfect for a hot summer day and pretty much any other. So there you have it, another burger of the day completed. If you liked the video, hit that like button for the algorithm. I would appreciate it and I appreciate you. This was a very fun burger to make and hopefully I conveyed that in the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. See you soon, baboon. Wait, spice it up. See you soon, bitch. Too spicy, too spicy. Thanks for feasting with me today, and please subscribe if you liked what you saw.